from the vantage point of an economist, just how important is freedom? So I would, I mean, I'm kind of biased. I'm a lover of freedom, but uh, I was, it's really important. Um, so if you just want to look at the data, um, for example, life expectancy. So in the poorest countries in the world, life expectancy is going to be around 60 years. Uh, the average person can expect to live that long. In the freest countries of the world, the average life expectancy is about 80 years. So there's a difference of 20 years. That's a whole entire generation. Um, also, if you look in terms of wealth and prosperity, uh, there's a huge difference um, between the poorest, uh, the least free countries of the world and the most free countries of the world. Uh, the average income in the most free countries of the world is about $40,000 per year per person. Least free countries is about $6,000 a year per country. Um, so, I mean, there's, and you can go on down the list, there's uh, infant mortality rates, um, environmental quality, every single thing that people care about, whether it's wealth and material possessions, or if it's things that really impact your life and living a long, happy life, um, there's a huge difference. People in poorer countries, people in least free countries are poorer, don't live very long, are less happy, right? There's a lot of happiness research that indicates people who live in the most free countries have a lot of life satisfaction, life control, all those types of things. So however you slice it and cut it, um, there's just a lot of benefits to freedom. 